Hang around. What's up? Oh, what's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? I'm not going to say I got the skinny on everything, but I did see a few things about him. Mm -hmm. But um, what's his name? Akeem Talib. Yeah. I think his mom's shot somebody also back in the day. Wow. And at first, I think it was, it came out to say that he did it. And he said, no, it was my mom. So his mom shot somebody. I think he got shot not too long ago. So it's not like it's just a brother. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it was a game. I think it was a scrimmage between the kids. It wasn't a full game. It was just like a regular scrimmage. But I, what I've seen now, I think the brother uh, turned himself in now, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy. It's just really crazy. I can't yeah, believe it. And he pleaded out to some charges a few months back, right? Who, the brother? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Oh. This shit's insane. I mean, people say, what's the solution? I mean, act human. Like, I don't. It's a football game. Like, I don't. I, but the, but I, the problem is a lot of these parents thinking that their kids is going to go to pro. They're going to go pro. And they're going to do whatever it takes to get in coaches' faces, get in referee faces, or for what? It's just sad, yo. I, I, I was like. I was heartbroken. Like before I did that video, I really had to uh say a little prayer before I did I know, it. I heard, I heard you in your video. Yeah. Cause um I met a guy yesterday and he uh -huh. said he he works for the news and he's like, you know, one of the first people on scenes as a photographer. And he said that like, every time you see something crazy, you just gotta pray. Cause it's hard for him. And I'm like, damn, like, you know, the kind of content I put up, it's hard for me at times. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, then I see that. I'm like, I gotta speak on it, but it was kind of it was a lot but yeah yeah and and black lives matter is not there no nobody's yeah. speaking on this black lives matter why they didn't pull up a nine-year-old boy saw his dad get gunned down in, in broad daylight you know yeah. what i mean where's mm -hmm. black lives matter yeah where's benjamin crump at you, you can't profit where, off of it where's all these leaders that 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 show up when a white man does i don't understand this shit. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, Seymour. Uh yeah, the, the young man that got killed, he actually graduated high school with my sister. He went to the same school as me where I graduated from. And this is normal here in Texas, man. You got these grown men that uh play football through their kids, man. Yeah. When my son played football, we was at a championship game, no lie, brother. And the grown men was actually fighting on the field. I had to pull my son out. He he never played football again. And this was in Oak Cliff, man. And to be honest with you, when my son started boxing, we never seen nothing like this. And you were in a place where testosterone was going and the boys was fighting. Once they finished boxing, man, they sat down like they had been knowing each other for years. You've never seen that. Mm. But out there on that football field, that's a totally different story. Mm. And another sad part about it, too. His sister got killed maybe 13 months ago. Yeah, two years Wait. ago. It was actually two years ago. Uh, domestic violence. The, the guy uh, that got killed. Yep, his sister got killed. Domestic violence. Uh, so, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's rough down here. Another guy. Now, this is sort of weird, man, because the guy I graduated with, well, they have these... Uh, little festivals down here where they ride horses and stuff like this and his son had never went to one before in the night wait, 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 you got to start over you got to start over yeah i thought it was oh. yeah he was breaking up uh you got to come out and come come out and come out and come back in mr brown but yeah yeah, yeah. his sister got killed uh, from what i understand was 13 months ago she got killed domestic violence then he get killed on the football field Imagine what that family's going through. Like, you, that's, you're not even over the death of your your sister, or you know, if the mother's still alive, your daughter. Now you got to deal with this. And she was also a collegiate af athlete, from what I understand. So she it's played basketball. She played sister. basketball. Yeah, she played basketball, and she was a teacher and a coach. He played football in college, and he was also a coach now. Mm. Give it back to the community, and both of them now going. Mm. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Brown. Yeah, I was like I was saying, man, this is <laughs> for here in Fort Worth, it's the same thing, man. 
these guys get out here and they play through their kids and it ain't nothing you just ain't seen the video man these guys be out here fighting and in front of kids man and it, it, it's a crying shame bro it, it is and people just don't know how to be civilized man it, and that's the problem people just don't know how to be civilized that, that's it man i'm not even gonna disagree with nobody anymore you know what i mean i'm just gonna swallow my pride <laughs> you can't even, you can't even disagree with a man anymore in 2022 man they, well, that's they all i want to say man um, and it's like that yeah, in new york yeah. in the basketball scene in the aau basketball scene is like that mm. these 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 parents are try to live through their kids damn so if you disagree with a call so if the fresh prince so if bel air high school played mlk high school people at Bel Air High School got a chance of getting robbed. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like that's the mystique that we're giving. Like, oh, I ain't going to the hood. No, no. And, and niggas like, and it's coincidentally, it's, it's, it's Nipsey's birthday today. Oh, I'm going to the hood, man. I want all this hood credit, man. Get that hood credit, man. Yeah. Take, your, take you somewhere where you can raise your kids and be at peace, man. There's nothing wrong with that. That should be the goal. That should be the goal, man. Yeah. Man, this is insane. You froze again, man. Your internet bad, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Yeah, your internet bad, man. They coming for you, man. <laughs> they coming for you. You're too much of an asset to the show, man. But yeah, what's up, man? Hey, what up, family? Hey, what how up? you doing, man? Oh, cool, cool. Now, I was just waiting till y'all start talking about my boy, Mike. You know, that was my partner. Yeah, I heard earlier today, man. Go ahead and elaborate, man. Take your time. No, nah, man, you know, that was like, that was a tragic situation, bro. Like, like I knew the minute it happened, but I didn't know who it was because it happened like three minutes from my house. So they was like, they shooting up the street. And I'm like, man, these fools shooting up at a football game. Like, that don't even make no sense at a little kid's football game. So it's like a... a, a a news outlet out here that this guy started and they were going live and so i had tagged my cousin so my cousin called me back and she was like trailer you're not gonna believe who that was i say who she say are you ready i say who was that she say you know him then she told me the name i was just like bro like dude like when it comes to be a father friend he like me and you really nah bro no like no like that's Bro, his son had just posted on his Instagram. Every time you see me, you see him. He always got my back. Talking about his uh, dad. Uh, uh, bro, I swear to bro, I'm telling you fact. His son, his son just posted that on his uh on his Instagram page, bro. And now his daddy did, bro. Crazy. The crazy part is over nothing. Isn't that crazy? Over nothing, bro. Over nothing, bro. And so you know sad. you know the crazy part, bro? It was a scrimmage. Yeah, it wasn't even hurt. a game. It was a freaking scrimmage. So yeah, I, bro, I, I text his wife this morning because you know me and his wife used to work together at the school. Oh wow! Like, yeah, bro, I, 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 his kid, both his his daughter and his son were my students when I was teaching, bro. Wow. So I know that whole like, it, 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 it's painful, bro, to know you got a good man that's a stand up man, stand up father get killed over his and his son was there bro his wife was there his wife held her husband in her arms bro i got the text message of what he said before he died what she said he said bro his heart bro like, i i don't even know what to say bro like i i'm, I'm lost right you don't even and then they they showed the official video of the guy actually shooting him today oh yeah they got the video out like the actual video when he shot and it's to leave Kareem brother, bro. Yeah. And they say he always pulling guns at the Little League football game. They say this is not the first time. Yeah, it's awful, man. And that family. Yeah. yeah, that's that's insane, man. A father gone, man. 43 years old. Just getting started. Son, nine years old. A father, a husband, a coach. Literally in the community. What in we talk 
he checking the boxes off of what's supposed to be done. <laughs> he checking off the box. Yeah, like what we what we what we say a black man's supposed to be, he checked all the boxes of going to church, husband, father, coach, giving up his time to coach kids. Some of those kids probably didn't have fathers. Right. You know what I'm saying? That probably was those kids' father, the other kids who didn't mm-hmm. have a father. I believe it. And Fred, night in, night out, bro. You in the shop talking about this very exact thing. And then people want to criticize me and you because we come in and we want to hold men accountable. But they say we cooning. How am I cooning when I just want men to be stand-up men? Because we cannot be effective in our communities or even build our communities until we start loving each other. We got to start there first. No other culture, ethnicity, race, they not going to respect us until we start loving each other, until we start putting each other first. We don't even put each other first. Why are we going to expect somebody else to put, put us first when we don't put each other first? And then we cry about this system. We can't buck the system until we're united. Yeah. <laughs> Bucking the system is unity for us. Facts. <laughs> that's, that's a cheat code. That's what yeah, everybody else is doing. That's it's a cheat code. code. Yeah. 